I'm Bruce August. I perform the tube inspection. Petrochem utilizes um, different tube techniques. The Iris 9000 and also the RFT eddy current testing, the ECT 48LT. Iris stands for Internal Rotary Inspection System. And this is a UT type instrument. This is ultrasonics and it's designed to measure the thickness of heat exchanger tubes. You're able to um, inspect carbon steel tubes and also alloy tubes. So you can inspect um, um, stainless steel, 9010 copper nickel, um, carbon steel, 2205. And just to show you how Iris actually works, this is the Iris Pro. Being that this is an ultrasonic, we, we do need a medium for the sound to travel through. By using the um, water and having the water spin, um, I'm able to get uh, um, 360 degree coupling. The transducer emits the signal. Um, there's a 45 degree mirror that the signal reflects from, travels through the water to the tube um, wall. Once you hit the tube wall, this signal emits mapping, map out the tube wall in the form of a B scan. This is a defect free area. This is a defect area. This is my measurements. This is my actual wall measure. This is what's, uh, this is the actual thickness of the tube in that uh, 360 degree wall loss area. As I uh, continue to pull, we have the four flat bottom pits. Um, Iris only reads the lowest um, minimal wall. So the lowest minimal wall is reading at about 50 mils. I can give you an actual wall remaining. You can take that number and if you have a corrosion program um, and put that number into your corrosion software and you can monitor the corrosion. So as I'm doing this in real time, I can record all my data. I can then download this data into my iris um, vision and print out a report right on the spot. The other technique that we utilize is, is the eddy current and RFT methods. This instrument here performs the eddy current, RFT, and near field techniques. Um, the RFT is designed to inspect tubes that are highly ferromagnetic, like the carbon steel, the 2205 or 400 series stainless. This instrument uses a combination near field RFT method. And uh, the purpose of the combination RFT near field is to help the technician to be able to size defects underneath the baffles. As an example, I have a defect that's 360 degrees. I'm gonna insert the probe. This is the signal from the 360 degree groove without the baffle over that particular defect. In fact, this particular defect is measuring at about 30%. I place the baffle over that defect, run over it once again. You're still able to see that defect underneath that baffle. The near fill um, is not seeing the baffle plate at all. Underneath, the defect underneath that baffle creates a little um, um, amplitude different, but you're still able to um, identify the um, 360 degree groove. Sizing is pretty much and I'm still reading at close to 30%. So despite the um, amplitude different, we got a, um, at times you would get a slight phase shift, but the measurement is um, within um, um, 2%. So that's uniqueness about this, uh, the, the ECT48LT uh, with the combination near field, uh, um, RFT, remote field, is that it gives the technician um, a, um, a better opportunity to size and measure defects underneath the baffle.